Good morning, guys. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> Yeah, and on the um, I'm so pissed they did an offering right now. Uh, that was my main watch coming in today. That was a five hundred thousand dollar opportunity that just vanished in pre-market. I'm not happy about it. Not happy at all. Half a million dollar opportunity that just, that just vanished because they couldn't wait with a filing to like say after hours. And I know, I was long 50,000 shares yesterday. This one I've been talking about, that is grinding, grinding. And before you know it, it's going to be at 20 bucks. And it hit 19 bucks in pre-market. And I sold it before it closed because I saw all these other COVID names go to hell. BMTX, I was up over 100K, took a $50,000 loss on it. VIR got stopped out of this one. And now they're obviously gapping higher today. I'm just so annoyed at this. Super annoying, man. And this I know, obviously, had some news and gapping up a lot. Trading is easy, um. Yeah? Trading is super easy. It's not frustrating. Anyone can do it. You don't need any kind of mental fortitude. <clears throat> you need no emotional stability. Boom. Why Codex? What's special about Codex? No, I'm too afraid of it. I'm too afraid they're gonna halt it. But hey, I don't know. I mean, look, the short looks good. The sh this 1950 range break is a pretty big deal. It has higher lows. I, I, I mean, the short looks really good. I don't know, man. Maybe I'll take a small, some small size, and if it closes well, I'm gonna hold it overnight. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. 30 target by who? H.G. Wainwright. <laughs> There's an offering coming. That's that's where they got a target. Are these things reporting after they open? After they close, I mean. Who oh, yeah. AMC. Okay, they're reporting after. Who oh, yeah. And why, why, right? Okay, yeah, they're reporting after the close. Right, great, great, great. RCL had earnings. Uh, 17, okay. Hans and Franz, who are those? Uh, yeah, it is Maxim, okay, even worse than H.G. Wainwright. Hans and Franz, who are those? <laughs> I don't know who they are. Oh man, NNDM, holy shit. Like, this is the move I wanted intraday, not in pre-market. Oh, come on. Hmm. Not happy. <laughs> it 
Saturday Night Live. I I don't I don't really watch those things. Yeah, Codex looks, it has a good chart, I'm not gonna lie, it does have a good chart, I am not going to lie, it's, it looks good, it looks great, it, it, it does look great, <laughs> but the news flow has been very bad on it, and I just, I'm just too afraid, to be honest, I, I am, it's VXRT, I had a watch list coming into today, mmm, Maybe there could be something here. Oops. I mean, the only stock I was really excited about today was this NNDM. That's now, you know, it's down 60% from pre-market highs. <laughs> okay, let's see. IMPX, I kid you not. I got stopped out three times yesterday. I think I lost like 50 grand on it. I got stopped out three times. You can't make this up. But you can't make this up. Three times. I don't know. I mean, on the long side, I mean, on the short side, I can get, get, get stopped out a lot of times before I finally nail it. But like on the long side, I don't remember last time I got stopped out three times on the same stock. That's really something. Uh, but 140, it's gapping up. I don't know if I had any news, but it looks good. Like, it has a lot of volume. And uh, I did buy some pre market uh, and after hours yesterday and pre market today. I have 104,000 shares right now, and I'm willing to add another 50, 100,000 easily to it. <clears throat> yeah, I know. Uh, uh, LK. I don't know. I don't know. Um, maybe opening range highs or something like that. Could be. Could be a trade there. Um, I mean, the company is completely worthless. They only fabricate, fabricated uh, two thirds of their revenue, which means they still have over a hundred million in legit revenue and the stock is now trading at i mean what's the market cap uh i don't know i don't know maybe maybe it can bounce it's not totally worthless uh -huh. it's not totally worthless but yeah i don't know Uh, yeah, they're gonna delist it. They're, they're gonna delist it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very. I'm, uh, I don't know when, but yeah, it's, it's surprising. It's not on uh, OTC after the halt. They should have put it on OTC. Okay, I am PX. Uh, I'm gonna if it sets up well. I'm gonna add to it. Uh, let's see. Most of my stocks are doing fine. PDD had a big reversal yesterday. I'm gonna get it to it soon. I gave back like 100k on it. <laughs> Had a big, big reversal. If I hadn't been long, I would have maybe played it on the long side. This is like this is the most profitable setup in the stock market. Okay, extended stocks up three, four days in a row, and then they reverse. Memorize this. Doesn't matter if you're a swing trader, day trader. That's where the money is. Uh, let's see, Nvax. Where did they close yesterday? I'm Potentially adding a little bit more to NVAX. I only covered small yesterday. Had a great entry. Had a big fade after it ent after I entered it. ACB is unfortunately gapping lower. I was hoping for a little bit of gap up so I could add. 
so I could add to it, but now it's gapping down. I'm gonna, I have to cover some here. No, I'm not short then and I wish I was. I wish I was. It was my main setup coming into today, and now it's gapping lower because of the offering, and it pisses me off. They just couldn't resist. They, they, they had to do it pre-market. They couldn't do it after hours. No, 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 no. They had to do it pre-market. Fuckers. <laughs> Scam management. They're not letting traders bank on their shit stock. Come on. Think of the little guy. Think of the little guy would have made a, made money shorting it intraday. Hundred percent what? Uh. <laughs> okay, LK. I'm watching. I'm watching opening range as an LK. I I think it could bounce back, but uh, ugh, who knows? Again, it's it's not like it's completely worthless. They still have a hundred million uh, in legit revenue. Or maybe they don't. I don't fucking know. Maybe it's uh, all a scam. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Emu doesn't look good. I'm sorry. I... I... I looked at it yesterday. I don't think it looks good. I, I, I don't think it looks good at all. It's a huge laggard, in my opinion. Okay, LK, I got uh, 133,000 shares or something like that on it. Uh, IMPX is fading out of the gate. That ain't great. It's a nice rhyme. Fading out of the gate. That ain't great. FMCI, I bought back some yesterday. Small position. Not Nowhere near the 150,000 shares I had last week or two weeks ago. Let's see here. <clears throat> okay, LK okay, got stopped out. I didn't. What the fuck? Okay, I took a $30,000 loss on LK. Uh, wow, the routes are having some serious issues here. What the hell? I can't get out. Oh my god, this pisses me off. Why? Like, my routes are not working. Fuck is this? Yeah, I took a twenty-six thousand dollar loss on LK. That was a quick little trade. <laughs> oh god, I love it. Nice little start to the day. Uh, let's see here. VTIQ is higher. I have to sell some VTIQ from yesterday. 
going straight up. MRNA, I'm still short 14,000 shares from yesterday. I think it could fade back to like sub 60. I don't know. Okay, LK is gonna try for opening range highs again. I'm, I'm gonna rebuy it. Trading is super easy. It's the easiest thing in the world. That's why everyone is so successful at it. I just rebought 150,000 shares of uh, N N uh, sorry LK. Oh, this FMCI is going. Maybe I'll buy back even more. I only have like 6,000 shares or something. Oh, ACB going straight down to cover some more. Mark, uh, let's see, Mark, 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 yeah, look, looks good. I'm not gonna add now, but maybe later. I'm also watching this IMPX. I'm not, uh, I think that one could also really, really go if it wanted to. I think MRNA has no support until like 60, maybe 66.50. Holy shit, LK, I wasn't looking at it. Looks like this thing is uh, finally working for me. I'm still red on it overall though. <laughs> oh, and then the M is going higher. <gasps> oh my God, please tell me we get, we get an up opportunity. On N and DM, I I I, I borrowed one hundred and fifty thousand shares pre market, but uh, then the stock obviously went lower on the offering. Oh my God! Please tell me we get an opportunity to short it. That would be so epic. Yeah. Was, uh, who would have uh, guessed it was a long side opportunity? I wouldn't have guessed it. <laughs> uh. What's this PHUN? Oh my god, I wish I'd seen it earlier.
while they priced the offering at two bucks? Holy shit! That's uh, so it's a hundred percent above the offering price. That's uh, <laughs> this is the David Day Trader crowd. These are all the people who, who are sports gamblers and they can't uh, gamble because there are no sports. That that's the people buying these things. It's pretty fascinating. Pretty fascinating, to be honest. <laughs> One and a half times their market cap. That that's um, that that is impressive. That is super impressive, to be honest. Codex, oh, it failed. Okay, so far it failed. PX is fading so far. But man, I think it's gonna go one of these days because it's been building higher lows for the past two weeks or week. I have to believe it's gonna go one of these days. I have to believe it. You gotta be a believer. If you're not a believer, you're a loser. That's a fact. Uh, no Christian today. <laughs> a loser like, yeah, like your loser friend. I only want losers in chat. Guys, those of who, you who are not losers, get the fuck out of my chat. <laughs> I, I don't want the non-losers. <laughs> If you are a loser, you're welcome. You're welcome to stay. <laughs> I just covered a little bit more of NVAX. I didn't get... <sighs> I was looking at this like 53, 52, 50 range for potential short, but I missed it. I missed it. <sighs> Unfortunately, I'm going to cover some more MRNA too. <clears throat> These have been home run trades so far. NVAX and MRNA from yesterday. Really home run. Holy shit, IBIO. Okay, I'm going to use lows of the day. Uh, uh, a stop on IBIO. Oh, LK. What if LK goes to like four bucks? Guys, what if F LK goes to four bucks? Holy shit. N now I'm uh, getting ahead of myself, I know. I probably... I, I just went green on LK after the $26,000 loss I took initially. But I'm, I'm selling some here. I'm selling a tenth of my position. Just to lock in a little bit. No, but seriously, what if goes if it goes to four bucks?
Uh, yeah, there's been some great shorting opportunities. ACB, uh, MRNA, NVAX, uh, uh, this one uh, SRNE, which I probably should have made five times as much money on as I did. I didn't have a lo I didn't have enough size, and I did. Um, yeah, I covered too early. Not happy about that. It's it's been a great trading market. I just have had some bad luck on some things. I've been I've been you know I've been all over some things and I just <sighs> Peloton doesn't look bad. If Mark can go to sixteen bucks, yeah, Poho CC, yeah, exactly. Mark, fair value is 16 bucks on Mark. All know, we all know that. That's fair value. It's value investing, guys. I'm not only doing momentum trading, I'm also doing value investing. It's worth 16 bucks. Because Twitter says so. Oh my god, LK! I just got the out of another piece. Holy shit! Too bad I took a loss, uh, that loss, but... Ah, uh, that initial $26,000 loss, that was annoying. Had some uh, order entry problems also. Yeah, and then DM. What if it goes back to like 650 pre-market highs? Or where, wherever the pre-market highs were, 660. Futures at new highs. Wow, this market. I, I think this. I, I think we're gonna see something crazy in the markets. Like, like something we unlike anything. Like something that dwarfs Tesla move earlier this year. I I think so. Like the market is so resilient. There's so many new people that have opened uh, brokerage accounts. Like these sports gamblers that open brokerage accounts because there's no sports gambling. So they're trading instead. 
the David Day Trader crowd. I, I think we're gonna see something absolutely fantastic. Maybe it won't dwarf what Tesla did earlier this year, but I think it could could be close to it. Uh, no, I interactive brokers is not good. I use Centerpoint uh, Securities. Centerpoint Securities. They're they're the best. Yeah, 2017. Look, 2018 has been the best best trading year I've ever seen. Uh, 20 not 2018. 2020. This year, I'm not gonna lie. This been insane opportunities. I've never seen this many opportunities. Oh, NNDM downside halt. Mm. I'm thinking about EMPH as a potential short. Not now, but maybe later. Okay, I'm gonna sell some more LK. I, I can't get greedy on it. It's greed is not good. I know Gordon Gecko says greed is good, but it's not good. <laughs> yeah, same here. <laughs> same here. It's amazing. Or I made a little bit less than a dollar per share, 75 cents or something. I still have most of my shares. I think it could go back to four bucks. SRN could be a nice bounce play. Uh, maybe later today. <clears throat> NIO China electric cars is going higher. Twilio looks good. <clears throat> Twilio looks interesting.
Yeah, just Codex got another uh, fraud call on it. It sets a dangerous long. The shard looked good, but man, I'm just too scared of it. There's just too much sketchy things that are going on. That people are calling out, that's the difference. That's the big difference. Oh no. I guess SSR is on and then the um <clears throat> Oh man, PHUN. This thing is gonna go to four bucks. It's getting halted all the time. RNA is starting to bounce a little bit. I'm gonna lower my stop on partials. Oh, maybe I should do a scan. Holy shit, these software names are just straight up. They just keep going. There's no pullback at all. Kind of amazing. Alt? Uh, no, I did not see it. What's going on here? Uh, okay, I guess it's a COVID name, right? It's too thin to me. Yeah, it's a COVID vaccine name. Uh, uh, it's too thin for me. I don't think, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a hot group right now. They're chasing all of these uh, vaccine names. They are. I don't know if it's... I don't know, it could go, but I'm gonna pass on it. There's just so many of these vaccine rings. The like VBIV is another one. INO. Uh, PH, oh, this uh, NNDM is unhalted. Yeah, it's because it gets halted all the time. Yeah, yeah. I think it could go, it could go to three, four bucks. I really do. I've seen that this before. These things can really go. Just keep going and going and going. Uh, Facebook straw.
What is this X E L B? Is it a COVID name too? Uh, no, they just had some earnings. Oh, it's apparel manufacturing. <laughs> Maybe they do fa face masks. I don't know. BCRX is building a high tide flag. Market keeps going higher and higher as you see new setups forming. It's 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 like the most amazing thing ever. LK is fading back. Let's see if it can hold VWAP. If it can't hold VWAP, uh, I probably have to reconsider my position. I'm gonna move my stop a little bit. Uh, yeah, Sarani, I was, I was, yeah. I think it could be a long later. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Moving some stops higher. This is how I trail the stops on, on these uh, high flyers. Like, fastly. I had my stop on the lows of this earnings day in the beginning, and now it's just trailing. I'm using the 20-day moving average as my stop. If it closes below the 20-day, I'm out. Same thing with SC. I moved up my stop on this SC. It was uh, like 56 bucks, 56.10 or something. 56 bucks, and now it's at 59. I'm moving into 60 bucks now. Mainly I'm not moving it yet because the 20 day hasn't caught up yet. But the, uh, once this 20 day gets above my, my current stop, then I'm going to start moving the stop higher. That's how you do it. No rocket science involved. Just common sense. CHGG. I'm going to raise my stop now. LVGO raising my stop. Mara, um, uh, uh, I mean, look, if uh, Bitcoin, this, they're taking this Bitcoin name side. Riot is going. Riot, I guess, is the leader of the former Bitcoin runners. What's Overstock doing? Uh, Overstock is the leader. Riot is also leader. Mara is a laggard. The only one in the in the space I'm really interested in right now is GBTC. It's the Bitcoin fund, the Bitcoin trust or whatever it is. That's the only one. I think Amara is just a low-priced thin stock. I, I wouldn't. I don't know. Can it go to two bucks? Sure. Uh, yeah, I was going to, but uh, I don't know, man. Right now it's holding VWAP. Maybe mid midday. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Or you know what? Three seventy ish. I'm gonna take a small position. I'm gonna do fifty thousand shares starter. Um. I have hundred fifty k shares located. I'm gonna do a starter. Because you know they had an they they offering price the two bucks. They, there's it's a total pump this whole stock. I don't know. I'm gonna do a starter and then we'll see what happens. Wow, this Teladoc is not going away. It's building a high tide flag. Uh, Spotify, one, what's 160? Uh, look, I would have bought Spotify, like when I saw the Joe Rogan news, 
I think that's a game changer for a for a podcast business. Uh, Spotify's rebranding from uh, music to audio audio in general, which means all kinds of you know sound pretty much. Uh, and the Joe Rogan news, that's a big deal. I, I think this is just a start uh, of a booming... Uh, the, I think their podcast business is going to boom. Uh, but the stock was straight up. The stock was straight up. It, it would have been better if the news had come a few days earlier. When a, when a stock was just breaking this range. Like the Joe Rogan news took up the stock. I mean, almost 20 you know, almost 20 points in a few hours. That's a big deal. But yeah, uh, no, not purely based on the chart, but pu purely based uh, on the f uh, chart plus uh, the fact that this is a leader in uh, in music streaming and uh, podcast streaming now. I I think they are they are they are the leader. Um, Joe Rogan is huge. Yeah. And it's not about him. He's one of the biggest, like, I don't know, podcasts. I didn't even... Yeah, he's, he's pretty big. I, I, I would say he's one of the biggest in the Western world. Uh, and I think this... I think they're going to get other big ones to their, to their platform. I think he's just the start. He's the catalyst. The Ringer, okay. I don't know what The Ringer is. Is that a podcast? I think a uh, podcast, a podcast. I think I've heard about it. I don't know. <coughs> Let's see, N and DM. Oh, uh, downside halt. Uh, let's see, did I get filled on it? No, almost full size. 41,000 shares, so not full size. Uh, let's see, what, what's my average? 362, ah, not the best average, but... Uh, it, it, SSR is on, so my fills were pretty bad. 362 is my average entry. And I, I, I got filled almost full size. Uh, let's see if I can go back to sub 3. I'm gonna put the stop at 390. I don't. I hate these stocks that move in gaps. They're just so so hard to trade. Super hard. Anyone rem remember when I traded Apron? Was it Apron? Holy shit! <laughs> that stock you had to be fast on. Damn, CHK is starting to go again. What if it can double again? Hmm, I'm gonna watch it. Man, this APT is not going away. I think oh, if it triggers again, I'm gonna go long. B and TX2 is building higher lows. There's been some nasty shake. Oh, okay, I, I added more to IMPX. If it can't go now, I'm I'm putting this on permanent ban list. <laughs> it has decent volume. Less than yesterday, but it does have decent volume. Uh, LK so far bounced off the VWAP. That's a good thing. Yeah, oil sector is strong. 
Guys, do you know if you can see oil futures in uh, TC2000? Probably not, right? <clears throat> No, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, CCCL is going nuts. Uh, what's the news on? Didn't I check the news on it pre market? Hmm. Oh, they had earnings. Okay, so what was the earnings? Uh, bunch of one-time items, I guess. <laughs> IMPX uh, took out the highs and now it's fading back. I love it. I have 200,000 shares of this piece of shit now. I'm so tired of it. Go already. Get to five bucks already. Jesus Christ. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Uh, yeah, support. I, I can't believe I got stopped out three times on it yesterday. Three times. That happened like... I don't think that's happened this year. 100 shares? Come on, guys. You can do better. <laughs> That's okay. I can hold my own. I'm... F I'm, I'm tr oh, NNDM is gonna stop me out. Don't stop me out. Uh, they had earnings. Uh, it's it's it, it's just uh, like a bunch of one-time items. I think, probably. It, it, it CCL is an old old pump. It's been pumped like all the time. It gets pumped now and then. Uh, looks like I've filled some more ACB. I, I, ACB target for me, I, I think 11 bucks is a reasonable target. It is on some support on the daily chart right now. <clears throat> but on the 60 minute chart, there's some support at 11. Um, I mostly covered, I think I had uh, over 100,000 shares of it yesterday. Uh, mostly covered up. <laughs> oh, you guys buy after I you are the guys pushing it down you always push it below opening range lows so I get stopped out and then you buy it on the sheep bastards my own chat is working against me <laughs> uh, zoom I think Zoom is uh, setting up really well. Th this is, like, you would think this stock would go down. Like, Zoom, Zoom has higher market cap than all the airlines put together. That's just amazing. Unbelievable. Uh, but I think it's going to go higher. 
it, it's building higher lows both on the daily 60 minute charts i think this thing could squeeze to like 220 250 i don't think there's a short setup here right now i i don't it's just building higher lows it's more bullish than bearish that's that's for sure CMPH could be a short. Looks great on the six. Maybe it can pull back to low sixties. Uh, yeah, but it's in the middle of a range. It doesn't really mean anything. When a stock is in the middle of a range, uh, relative strength, relative weakness don't really mean much. Um, but I, I, I understand what you mean, like the Zoom is an extended stock, super high valuation, it's down on a day where all the other tech stocks are higher, I, I get what you see here, but you gotta look at the trend of the stock, it's just building higher lows, it's just building a base here, if it breaks out over this, it's gonna go to 220 straight up. But I don't think... Um, yeah, a range-bound stock, it's, um, uh, yeah, I don't think uh, you can look at relative strength, relative weakness. <clears throat> Unless it's over many, many days, like let's say the market keeps going higher and the stock is building lower highs, like, now that's obviously a strong sign. Uh, but uh, in this case, I don't, I don't, th I think it's too early to say. <clears throat> Like, unless it fails this series of higher lows and fails the rising 10-day on the daily chart, then we can, yeah, th then it could get interesting for a potential short. But right now, it's, uh, it's one of the strongest stocks, really. Uh, I don't know, yeah, it's already fading. It failed VWAP. Yeah, the fail of, second wave fail of VWAP was the short entry. Unfortunately, I wasn't looking at it. Uh, but yeah, could it could fade back to fifth, sub fifteen? Absolutely. There are so many names setting up. All right, let's see what's going on. My oh, IMPX is back at highs for the day. Thank you. Thank you guys for supporting me with your 100 shares. Thank you. I'm eternally grateful. I really am. <laughs> Thank you for saving my ass. <laughs> if, I, if I get stopped out on this stock one more time, it's gonna... I'm, I'm deleting it from my platform. I'm gonna email TC2000 or I'm gonna email Worden and uh, ask them to delete the, the symbol from my platform. And then DM looks like he wants to stop me out. It reclaimed VWAP. It had a washout below VWAP and uh, it reclaimed. That's not uh, good for my short. But on the other hand, if it can go to six, seven bucks, that would be a very good thing. Mark is just going sideways. So far, it's building higher lows in the 60 minute chart. That's a very good thing. I should probably cover some Etsy here. I still have 90% of my position on Etsy. I'm covering some here. Moving my stop a bit lower. Oh, LK doesn't look great. It, lo it just lost VWAP. Uh, well, at least I made back most of my loss, 
but I, I, you know, if it stops me out, I'm still gonna have a loss on the stock. Since I took that twenty-six thousand dollar loss out of the gate, that was annoying. I anticipated the one minute opening range highs, so the first one minute candle was built, and then it was just lower. Took out opening range lows. I could stop that. That's that's yeah, unfortunate. That's unfortunate. So Codex had five fraud reports so far. Oh, Citroen just hit the INO. And they're correct, this is a huge promotion, stock promotion. <coughs> they are absolutely correct. Yeah. Uh, stay young 24 I don't know uh, w which stock are you talking about I don't remember the context uh, which stock are you talking about stay young 24 LK uh, I'm just you know <laughs> look I don't know um, uh, oh wait, what's the question? How do you decide whether to get so out someone's strength or let it hopefully trend up by risking open? Uh, case by case, case by case. Like this thing is down, uh, it's down like 95% from the all time highs, right? 
uh, you know, and the, you know, it's a big fraud, like two thirds of the revenue are fraudulent, but the third is not. Over, they still have a, over a hundred million in revenue that's not fraudulent. So I, I think, <clears throat> I think this stock could bounce. I, why can't this thing bounce back to four, four bucks or, or more? Um, so, you know, I'm just, I mean, I, I'm just, you know, pretty much taking these price targets out of my ass. And every 20, 30 cents, I'm selling some into strength. And now my stop is break even because I don't want to give back a lot of a bunch of, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to turn this into big loser. That's how I do it. But it's case by case. It's case by case. You also have to look at the market environment, what's been working recently. You know, you always have to be in tune. And this is one of the more uh, more stupid markets I've ever seen. So I'm trying to be patient and stuff. Sometimes it bites me in the ass, but you know, that's what it is. Oh, I got stopped out of NNDM. Uh, took an eleven thousand dollar loss on it. Uh, and uh, yeah, okay. Hopefully, it goes to five six bucks. No, I guys guys. I need you to support IMPX now. Where are you guys? Get your 100 share orders out. This IMPX failed to uh, take out the highs again. Everyone get a 100 share order in. I need you to support me. I'm counting on you. You're still on it? Good, good. I trust in you. I, I trust you can do it for me. Twitter says this thing can go up a lot. <laughs> What's Kodar? I don't know what Kodar is. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, call your clearing firms. Call everyone you know. Every everyone needs to put a hundred share order in. Let's do let's do this together. Uh FLI. Now, I really like this one. This is not one of these pump stocks. They actually have a legit business with these heat cameras or what they're called. Thermal cameras. CCCL. Yeah. Upside, downside. This PHUN is still going higher. Oh, it had a downside halt. PHUN. So it had what? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight upside halts, and now it's on its first downside halt. <laughs> Man, these halts are so stupid. It's it's incredible. Like the dumbest thing ever. I am tempted to buy some. It's it's in the right sector. Now I know it's dying. Wish I had got some short. It failed at VWAP. It built lower highs. It failed at VWAP one, two, three, four, four times at least. Man, you know this was a perfect short setup. I missed it. P 
Pixie, shit Pixie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, shit Pixie. Yeah. So stupid. Every time. They try to pump this thing so many times. Every time it fails. It never has a day two. It never has a day two. Okay, here it did. Here, here it did. Here it actually had a day three. <clears throat> but most of the time when they pump it, it just fades on the first day or on the second day. Kind of funny. And people keep buying it. It's fascinating. No, I got stopped out of LK. Oh, I ended up with an eleven thousand dollar loss. No, wait, I didn't get stopped out. Wait, 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 wait. Why did my stop not work? Oh, maybe I didn't have a stop on it. Oh, I didn't have a stop on it. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, now it's. You know what? I'm gonna use this two seventy one as my stop. I guess. I still have 105,000 shares of this thing. <clears throat> and I use that 271 as my stop. NVAX keeps on fading. MRNA is still weak. Etsy's weak. Etsy, I should move my stop to break even. 84.31. Okay. Yeah, but how do you scalp something like this? How, I mean, how do you scalp? Because sometimes it only trades for like 5-10 seconds and then it gets halted. How do, you, how do you even scalp that? You have to literally sit there and wait for 5-10 to 10 minutes to get the stock unhalted. And then you have a 5-10 second window, sometimes a bit more. To, to make a trade. Like, how do you do it? I, I'm not sure if it's a scalper 7, is it? Man, if you guys are trading it successfully, you're fucking, uh, you're like faster than lighting. How do you do it? You guys are damn fast. You should come for trade for me. I need an assistant. <laughs> I need a trading assistant. Uh, yeah, but still, you have to be super fast. It doesn't matter if you do 100 shares or 100,000. You still have to be fast. That's my point. Like, how do you make... You, you have to wait for the stock to unhold for the first. Then you, you literally have like a 10 second window to make the trade. That's my point. I don't get it. <laughs> Can't your loser friend get a job? <laughs> your loser friend actually wrote to me on Facebook yesterday. I, I actually, you know, the guy, I, what was his name? I, I, I forgot his name, but I actually talked with him uh, like two years ago. We had a Facebook conversation. Uh, and then he wrote to me yesterday, hey, I'm the loser friend from uh, Twitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's kind of funny. <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs>
I don't know. His friend, his friend David calls him a loser, so I guess he is a loser. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, SRNE. Uh, I still think it could be uh, like if it sell closes really weak today, and then opens weak tomorrow. I, I think there could be a big rebound in it. It's a total piece of shit. It was a total pump job, but uh, it could bounce. I should see the... <laughs> I like this BCRX. This one is setting up nicely. I just wish I had bought it in uh, at 4 bucks, 4.10, 4 4.15. And Tesla, man, this thing, feel, it feels like it's gonna do something big. I really think this thing could be a trade where you risk 10 bucks to make 200, 300, 400. It feels like that. It's just setting up in a big way. No, I don't. I know the guy. Oh, I know. I've um, I've followed him before. He does his thing. He f he pretty much does on the intraday chart what I do on the daily and weekly chart. He finds these tight areas, these bull flags, and sometimes bear flags, and then he buys before they break out or just when they're about to break out. Exactly what I do on the daily chart and also the weekly chart. Yeah. But he does it on a... I think that guy, you know... Like, if he could scale his trading, he could make millions. If he would move uh, his time frames from intraday to multi-week, he would, he would make... He, w he could increase his profitability by 10 times. I really believe that. Yeah, Tesla, is, this is a 5-star uh, bull flag. This is a 5-star bull flag. This is like... One of the best setups right now. Look at the yeah, it, it looks so good. Relentless higher lows. It just and you know volume is dying off. The range is dying off. This thing breaks out. Oh man, it's gonna go to a thousand bucks. It's gonna go to a thousand bucks. One M. Oh yeah. The thing is, I was stalking this thing, and then I looked at the numbers, and this is a. Uh, this is not a great uh, business. Like, if you compare TDOC numbers and margins to 1M, 1M is a piece of shit, okay? They're both telehealth companies. 1M is a piece of shit in comparison. And that's why I passed on it. But I guess it's a high, hot sector and... Uh, and yeah... Like TDOC last quarter had a 41% uh, revenue growth uh, at 60% gross margin, okay? 41% revenue growth, 60% uh, gross margin. 1M last quarter had 25% revenue growth and 35% gross margin. I'm going to tell you why this is significant. I'm going to show you guys something. PCCA versus Domino's Pizza. Wait, DPC. I'm going to show you why revenue growth versus gro uh, gross margin, why it's so important. Like Domino's Pizza from 2008 lows, it's up uh, almost 9,000%. PCCA, Papa John's from 2008 lows, 
is only up 1200%. Why? Because Domino's had about twice the revenue growth and higher gross margins than uh, than Papa John's. That's why their stock is up like, f uh, how much? Like six times as much? Is it six times? Five times? Five times as much. That's the reason. Uh, okay, LK, I finally got stopped out. I, uh, fi I, ha I took a $13,000 loss on it. 13 and a half. It's, uh, it's, for, it's holding uh, well below VWAP. Come on, guys, please push this IMPX. You need to go from sitting on the bid to actually uh, be aggressive on the ask with your 100 shares. If everyone does that, this thing is gonna go to five bucks. Uh, NAT, I think the trade is over on these uh, tankers. I think the trade is over. It only lasted for about two weeks. The hype in these um, um, uh, oil tankers. Mm. I'm not sure if they're gonna go in another run though. Because there's not uh, as much demand for going forward since supply is coming down. Pumps are going offline. But again, I don't know. But that's at least what I, from what I've read. But if they set up again, absolutely. Could be trades there. Uh, PHUN. <laughs> wow, that downside halt, uh, gap down was something. Gap down, what, 25%? Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, the volatility in, in this stock. Uh, how do you trade it? How the fuck do you trade it? Oh man, Okta, I sold it two days ago. 
and it's it's at new highs. This is the type of market we are in. You sell, and things just keep going higher. Uh, it's unbelievable. This market is really something else. <laughs> just an incredible market. NNDM is setting up again. <sighs> like I'm gonna keep shorting it. If it loses VWAP again, I'm gonna short it. Let's see here. Uh, three seventy three, maybe. That uh, v, um, SSR is super annoying, though. I hate SSR. Do 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 Carl Icahn? What I think about it? Uh, I think he's a great investor. Not so much the past 10 years as uh, the 20 or so years before that. Or 30 years before that. But I don't know much about the guy.
BCRX is trying to break higher here. I know it VWAP again. Wow. I'm not gonna do it. I'm in so many other things right now, but um, yeah. There could be another opportunity. MRNA looks like he wants to bounce. I'm gonna cover some more. I'm get I'm gonna get down to twenty uh, ten thousand small shares. Uh, whoa whoa whoa! What happened here? Oh okay, never mind. I just fat fingered uh, a little bit. Uh, I'm down to seventy three hundred shares on MRNA now. It's had a nice fade off the lows, a little bit over twenty percent. Okay, I got back into NND, I'm short. It's below VWAP again. No, I'm not in BCRX. I'm not in. But man, it does look good. It does look interesting. I just bought 75,000 shares of BCRX. Let's see if it can have any follow through. The better entry was like su very low force, obviously, but I unfortunately missed that entry. It's it's doing a, it's building a high tide flag here. I would have bought more, but uh, I'm not super excited about it. I think it could go, but. Uh, yeah, no volume. The chart looks good, but yeah, it's not. Yeah, no volume. That's true. That's why I didn't buy more. I wish I would have done like 150,000 shares. Um. Oh, come on, LK. Now it's gonna go higher? You. No. I'm gonna put LK back on watch. If it sets up well later, I could, I could maybe go long again, maybe, potentially. Hmm. VIR, what an annoying stock. Truly, truly annoying. ALT is going. SRNE. Mm, yeah, put in a higher low. Oh man, I don't want it to bounce today. I really don't want it to bounce today. Oh, IMPX, come on, guys. Step up. What is this?
It's falling back into range. Oh. Oh god, I don't like this stock at all. <laughs> Why does it always pull back? Hmm. Let's see if N and DM can finally go back to sub three. This little POS. ACB looks like it wants to bounce potentially. I'm gonna lower my stop button. If it goes green on the day, I'm out. Uh, yeah, genius. Yeah, I, I, yeah. It looks. Uh... But didn't they vote the offering down? They wanted to triple the outstanding, <laughs> outstanding shares. That's. Uh... But didn't they vote uh, vote it vote it down? I don't remember. I don't. I'm not sure. Very familiar with this one. I know it had some drama on Twitter though. This ping looks interesting. Having a little bit of a breakout, but it's kind of not. A very strongly trending stock, so I don't know. Uh, I just got disconnected from my trading platforms for some reason. I'm thinking about covering some more ACB here. I have a third left or a quarter left from yesterday. And I'm thinking about covering a bunch right here.
IBIO going green, nice. But my cruise lines are not acting well. I'm gonna get stopped out of NCLH too, probably. Gonna take some fat losses. I still have my full 80,000 shares of this thing, uh, but it looks like I'm gonna get stopped out today, probably. Man, this VIR is not going away. I'm, I'm thinking about rebuying this. Oh. Mm. I just sold it. I really didn't get stopped out yesterday. I sold it because BNTX stopped me out. And I thought VIR was just going to go lower. Keep going lower. But uh, it didn't go lower. It gapped up today. And now it looks like it wants to go higher again. Oh my god. I hate this. I'm not gonna look at it. I'm, not, I'm taking it off. So. SRN, he could really bounce here. I just, I'm, uh, I'm. So many things already. IMPX, come on, really? Come on, IMPX. Don't do this to me. Just go higher, will you? Please. Just go higher. <sighs> and then the M. I think first stop for this thing will is gonna be three bucks. Mark is setting up really well in the 60 minute chart. Building higher lows and it's building a range here, like to 190, 194 area. I really think this thing goes to three plus. I have to believe that. The volume is not going away. It just keeps coming back. The volume just keeps coming back. I, 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 I bet it's all these David Day Trader guys. They have to be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's so many of them. And the funny thing is, I click on these guys, and like these are all the accounts. Like one of these accounts was created two two years ago. The other one was created five years ago. Like how can how how can they still be like like how how are they not banned? How do I report this guy? Ah. Oh. Cell. Oh, it's triggering again. Hmm. BLDP and plug are setting up too. 
This sector is not gonna, but this thing is so thin. I don't think I'm gonna rebuy it, to be honest. Fuel cell, I don't know. It's just too thin. Can it go to three, four bucks? Yeah. But man, it has no volume. Alright, now it's just watching paint dry. Um, man, this LK looks intriguing. I, I just... What if it goes... What if it does go to 4 bucks? What if it shook everyone out again? Uh, I'm on Platinum, I think. My services, I am on... Uh, doesn't say. Uh, I'm I'm on platinum, I guaranteed. I always have the best of the best. I don't even know what the difference is. To be honest. SRN is now bouncing. I, um, I I'm pa I'm passing on it. I, I I just I'm getting tired. How does this screen? Well, my main setup um, has about three times as much screen estate. This is a, just a 27 inch uh, screen. I have two 34 inch screens I use for uh, TC2000. Like I'm gonna show you. This is now it's really small and crammed, but this is what I use usually on my on my on my setup. But this is on like uh, two screens with three times as much screen real estate, if not four, not nah, three times as much. So I use the weekly chart, the intraday five and one minute. I have the daily chart and the sixty minute. But I just use this uh, small screen for you guys because you, most of you are probably sitting with one monitor. And I think it's kind of hard to stream from two screens. So I use my laptop setup when I stream. But yeah, it's time for food. And I'm tired of talking with you losers. <laughs> okay, thanks for joining guys and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Just kidding, man. Just kidding. You're not losers. I'm a loser. I'm the biggest loser of all. Thanks, guys. See ya.